Spark Africa is always looking for new businesses and surprising initiatives. Today we report from the wine fields in South Africa. Ever since the 17th century, wealthy white men have dominated the local wine industry. Now, a talented 28-year-old black woman wants to shake things up. I'm in one of the most fertile and productive areas in South Africa, the vineyards of Stellenbosch. Winemaking in the country has very strong European roots, but recently more and more emerging winemakers have entered the South African market. The number of black winemakers in South African wine industry is increasing. Front runners of this winemaker is Zinthiki Biela. She has been connected to the Stella Care Vineyards for over five years. This talented winemaker is the company's pride since she won the Woman Winemaker of the Year in 2009. That makes Thiki the first black woman in South Africa who has earned this title. Woman Winemaker of the Year Award, for me, it's more of a step towards something that I'm doing. And it was a good thing to get appreciated for what you've done in your industry. We always uh, refer to Nsiki as our rising star, but I think she's no longer a rising star. She is the brightest, biggest star at Stelakaya, and we're exceptionally proud of her. I think she would be a fantastic ambassador for for, for, for her winery in the first instance, and then for South African wine in general. Ndiki was born in the village of Ulundi, in the province of KwaZulu-Natal, before she worked as a cleaner to pay for her education. After, she got a scholarship and studied winery at the Agriculture Department of the University of Stellenbrotch, from where she graduated in 2003. Currently, she is an enthusiastic promoter of the wines of Stella Care, especially of her winning wine. This wine specifically, the Cabernet Sauvignon, it's the wine that, you know, it's, it's, it's a fruity wine, it's represent, you get all the character that you need in a Cabernet Sauvignon. Most people when they taste it, they say it's very juicy. People who say to me, they don't drink Cabernet Sauvignon because it's big and this and this, I always give them Stella Car Cab and they always go, okay, from now on I'm going to drink Cabernet Sauvignon. But Ntiki isn't there yet. Being very scrupulous, she treats every wine like it's her own child that she needs to raise and take care of. Only perfection will help her conquer the world of wines. The Woman Winemaker of the Year Award is good motivation to Ntiki and other young, talented winemakers. I think I have become a role model for actually the young people coming up, not only black people and even the white youngsters. Um, I've become a role model for them because for them to see someone who come from a different background getting into something that they didn't know uh, before and also be successful in it. So for the consumers out there to see that it's not just for the elite to be in the wine industry, it's now for everyone. Obviously a woman's touch having profound influence on South African wine. Gesundheit. Thank you.